Once you have all the details placed in, no matter what you add to this thing, then you worry about the next step. The next step is taking and going into object mode and placing it back on top of the other one. In this case, I'm just going to go to object mode and zero this out. So here's my other one right next to it. The one with no detail. Zero, so it plops it on top. And now I'm just going to go head high, hold shift, head low. Make sure there's a texture involved here. There is because I, I designed one earlier with the UVs. Then I'm going to go to the camera, go to bake. You want normal map, so normals. Selected to active. And the distance, I'm going to say 1. And I'll work my way up. Let me also hit clear and hit bake. Okay, I got a little progress bar here at the top that I'm following. And I pray Blender doesn't crash. All right, here we go. Super clean normal map. Look at that. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. All because you follow the steps. Follow the steps, good to go. Don't follow the steps, pain in the butt. Okay, we got a couple minutes here, so let's look at it. Let's go in here. First off, save all your work. After we save, then I'm going to take and save this out. Save the image out. And we'll call this helmet example. Period TGA. Then we'll make a material. We'll make that helmet underscore mat for material. Go get a new texture. The new texture is going to be an image. I'll open that up. That thing is going to be a normal map. So under image sampling, normal map. Mapping is going to be UV. Normal, color off. Okay, so what I can do is I'm going to hide one of my helmets here so it gets a little faster here. Hiding the high level one. And then I'm taking my low level one and lowering it down quite a bit. So I'm going to lower the preview down to like maybe one. There we go. So here is my low res one. And then you can see that based upon my wireframe, it's still a little high. But if I get rid of the modifier altogether, it'll get rid of that also. So, oh, here, I'll mark it down to preview and then go here. So here's my very low res mesh. And I want to apply the material, the helmet material. So I hit into edit mode, hit A, go in here and assign material. And on the keyboard, to go into display mode, choose GLSL, and on the keyboard to get rid of that, and Alt Z. And we need a light. Add 
lamp point. Okay, just move that into position so I can get it over here. There we go. So just make sure everything's kosher with it. Again, here's what it looks like without normal map on. Ooh. Flat, yep, normal. And I'd have to take it into another program to see if the seams are actually there or not because it blenders ability to show seam no matter what. <laughs> but other than that, I would say transferring detail from a high res to a low res worked out pretty well. If I divide it one more time to one, notice there hardly is any seam damage whatsoever. Turn this one back on. I have a feeling it's going to crash. Nope. It has tendencies when you do this stuff. Okay, so there they are side by side. And I know it's just a small little nut and bolt right there, but as an example goes, not too bad. All right, hope you enjoyed my workflow for uh, successfully making normal maps and cleaning up your mesh. Please move on to the next video.